So this is very, very impromptu. I'm uh, modding and lurking on Father Fish's channel and coming around to feed fish. I'm about halfway through and some of you know this is the uh, tank that I like to keep large tetras in. Uh, and I also have a couple of paku, but today I've encountered something I've never seen on my fish and that, that is what I assume to be breeding dress on several of the large silver dollars. Uh, the one in the center right there. You can see the difference in it and some of the other silver dollars around it. A couple of the others are a little bit colored up. Those two in particular right there, didn't know they could color like that. I don't think I've ever seen even a photograph of that. So they're waiting for their brunch. Get a little bit of something in there for them. It's not very much. There we go. These are some uh, jumbo blood worms and some bug bites. Granules, some in the blood worm juice, and then they'll also get some krill, jumbo krill. And of course, I have horrible glare from the tank, the rack of tanks beside me that I've just fed and walked away from. There, let's get a little closer. I'd like to just get a couple of minutes of these colors. There we go. Also got some angels in here, just random angel fish. I like to rescue fish and angels are one that often are in bad condition or haven't been fed or have been bullied by a pair or something. So I have four that, that get along somehow in here. Sorry. Those are the uh, red eye black tetras. And those are like the second largest tetra. Those are about half grown, I suspect. The guy there with the black bar on its pedicle and the long fin, dorsal, I'm going to be getting some more of those guys in. And I think there's even a couple of um, Congo tetras in there. Eventually I'd like to pull the angels out and the pakus will have to come out at some point. So far, they're not bothering the other fish. They're well fed, which is a lot of that secret. If I can get some more food in here. Having a little bit of trouble with my pipette. is not camera ready obviously but going to have to do a little research on those colors I had noticed last night that one of them uh, above the gill plate there had the red swatches but today they've got colors on their fins as well. Just trying to get a little bit more food in here. Some of the krill. There we go. You'll see the pacos. Well, yeah, they'll take that immediately. And I've also got a couple of pretty good sized tire track eels I've had for, oh, I don't know, two or three years in here. And I don't think they're as happy with the current 
sorry, the current stocking of fish. There goes one over. So I normally feed on this end. The food uh, moves well on the current. There's a wave maker and two uh, sponge filters on here. And that's all that's uh, currently going on here and they've been doing well like that for several weeks. All right, we're at five and a half minutes. Thanks for watching. Love to do impromptu vids, and especially if it's something I haven't seen or I wanna learn about. Gives me a little documentation and hopefully someone that sees this has experienced this. Uh, they're certainly not the largest in there. There's a third one that's beginning to color up too. All right, thanks guys, take care.